Hello, in this video I'm going to split, explain the built survived law. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Um, essentially what this law, this law has some uh, interesting notation that a lot of people find difficult. Um, I'm going to try to explain it without using as much notation and that way you understand the key concepts. So we have this wire, this conductor, run along here and there's a current running through it at I. Now I explained before that a current creates a magnetic field um, or at least is affected by a magnetic field and uh, now I'm just going to state that uh, this law is essentially how you find a magnetic field around a wire. Um, if you think about it this wire is moving and a wire that has a magnet or a wire that has a current is affected by a magnetic field but a wire that doesn't have a current is not affected by a magnetic field this is be the reason it's affected is it's creating a, a an opposing magnetic field that pushes it away from the magnetic field that is in so um if we like put this inside of a magnetic field and we start a current going up and the so let's say that there's a magnetic field going in so we have the velocity of electrons going down this way which I explained in a previous video it's opposite to the current so you put your fingers that way using the right hand rule the thumb goes into the page so there'll be a force pushing this way Now let's do it in reverse. Um, now let's say that we have a that current, um, and then we have. Notice our thumb. Um, hmm, okay, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain this. So if we have our hand right here, my awesome drawings. Oh man. Okay, that's my that's my hand. Um this thumb, if we point it straight up, um and say our magnetic current or our magnetic field is coming out that direction. And we have our um velocity still going in the same direction. We will put we will push in the opposite direction of the magnetic field that we're going through. In this case, we're maintaining Newton's third law. The forces are equal but opposite, but it still forces it to move until they are equal and opposite. Um, I don't know if I explained that very well, but I'm going to go through and show you quickly what the what. The average book says about the law that was in my 1950s textbook. Who knows? Um, so here's the law, and the law is dB, um, or the derivative of the magnetic field, is equal to the permittivity of free space divided by 4 pi uh, multiplied by I. D, um, this textbook I'm looking at uses S, but I'm going to use X. Cross the direction vector, which could be K, X, or Y, divided by R squared, which comes out to the magnetic field is equal to constant I divided by 4 pi integral of d x cross r divided by r squared which if you look at this it ends up being x vector or the difference between x and uh, the direction vector um, sine theta. Um, 
which essentially means that if you take each one of these little segments, say we're trying to find the magnetic field generated by this half of the segment, so we're trying to find the magnetic field at this point right here. We'll take the magnetic field from this, this segment. Actually, we'll go further than that. It'll go all the way down here. This segment and all of this magnetic field, the integral of this, will affect that dot right there, that point. So we take from point A to point B, or B to A, doesn't really matter, and um, calculate that. Actually, this should be A to B. Um, and essentially that's what you do then to get this side, and then if you want this side, you do the same thing. What that basically gives you is the magnetic field generated by this current, which if you think about it, makes sense, as I said, using Newton's third law, or you can think about it another way. And um, we know that a magnetic field is created when current, or we know that what a magnetic field, um, when a conductor is in a magnetic field and it, there is a current running through it, it moves. Now why does it move? This is a good explanation. Um, but beyond that, we this is this means that any current will create will create a magnetic field, and that means that anything from a light bulb to a battery, anything creates a magnetic field. But I I did this experiment when I was a little kid. I took a uh, AA battery. 1.5 volts, I believe. You put a paper clip to both ends. Now it'll get really hot really fast, but you can still touch that paper clip while the battery's running through it, two things, and it will collect it. It essentially creates a current, and you can touch stuff with it, and it'll lift it, and I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting. Anyways, some, uh, one other last thing you need to know the permittivity of free space is equal to 4 pi e to the negative seventh or times 10 to the negative seventh teslas times meters divided by amps if you look at the units right up here that just means that the amps will cancel out leaving you tesla meters the meters will then um, cancel out over here and you'll just end up with tesla which is this anyways Hope this has helped a bit. Um, feel free to comment and I can create a new video if you do not like this one. Um, or go to my website and suggest a future video. Thank you.